Hello and welcome again to the deep learning course. Today you will be working on the convolution neural network and implementing a, a playground uh, working with the MNIST dataset, which is aka uh, Hello World in the convolution neural network uh, field. So let's get started. First, I have uh, imported such uh, packages. This is the uh, original packages that you already know from the IRS classification uh, notebook. And here is the MNIST dataset, which have been uh, provided from the Torch Vision uh, library. And also, if you can um, hold control space, you can check a lot of images like Fashion MNIST also, uh, Coco dataset, and also there exists this uh, image data set through this uh, uh, image net if you want to work on it but it's a huge uh, data set so all, all of the data sets are pretty much exist within the torch vision library so you can check them out if you need but i will just work on the MNIST data set for uh, the current uh, lecture okay so i'm here using a plotly as a visualization tool so let's get started First, I need to read the dataset, MNIST dataset. For example, I will be uh, saving it here in the data. And uh, if it's your first time, you might do a download set to true. But uh, for my side, I have already downloaded it. And also, you can check the, the training, whether it is a trained data or a test dataset. So yes, it's a training dataset. And uh, if we need to apply any transformation, we can apply later. Uh, so let's save it in such an object and uh, do a little bit. Okay. Okay, so it seems like he didn't uh, capture the path. I'll check, I'll change this path. Okay. Uh, for example, if I printed this, you will be. Uh, having this uh, summary output which is the number of data you have 60k image and uh, they are uh, the training split and stored in this directory okay if i need to check the tensors of this or the pixels of these images i can access the data and if you print it you have these all these 60k image tensors and if i have the shape you will have 60k by 28 by 28 which is the width and height okay so this each image is a 28 by 28 and we have 60k image so let's try to uh, uh, check the visualization of them but before that you have also the option of uh, checking only the um, the targets like i have the label of them it is 60k only because it's just the tensor of the labels like what is the number of this image so let's see uh, let's see, have a look about uh, such images in order to have a good understanding of what this data looks like so for example here i'm having the plotly express package which is pretty much useful in such case like uh, if I just inserted MNIST.data and I need just a, a number of, or batch of images to be 10 images for example or 5 images so I can handle this through this way and uh, here for example I can uh, just fill the number of batch and the dimensions of the images are kept the same and I have such, uh, if I around it enter, then we'll be having this error. I'm just showing you how you can work on this. And it will tell you like you need to use a facet column if you have a three dimensional input. So in that case, I need to break down this uh, number of images across the first axis, which is the zeros axis. Like I have here five images, so I need to have five separate objects or images. If I press the enter, so now you can visualize these uh, pixels of the images. If I need to make it in a black and white, so I have this binary string, I can set it to true. So here, for example, I have me, I have the five 
digit in a handwritten way the zero four and one and nine also you can uh, have uh, like 20 image but they will be uh, too small so you have an option here to have this uh, facet wrap column wrap and uh, each each column should have only five images so that's also another way of visualization of this uh, album okay so now we have a pretty much uh, understanding of that if you need to download any other data set you can use this same function and to observe some images of the data this will be very useful okay so now we have uh, we need to build a, a small convolution neural network and uh, applying it to such images and visualize the feature map as well so for example here i have uh, like a sequential i am not i will not be building a full uh, class model but just a sequential will be sufficient for this uh, subject and for example here i have this conv2d which is a convolutional method in bytorch for the two dimensional images if you have a three dimensional you can work on the 3d but uh, for the current time we have this and it takes an input of one and the output will be the number of channels you need for example i need the channels of 128 so i will have a matrix of 128 by uh, the width and height of this image okay and i have also the kernel size so for example i need a kernel of three and i have the stride how how many steps do you need to make this kernel move across your image so the stride will be for example one okay uh first we need to check <clears throat> the images dimension so what is the dimension of the input to this model actually it is first you have a patch size then the number of channels then the uh, width and height okay so for example in our case we have a batch of uh, a single image and the number of its channel it's just a grayscale image so it's uh, one so that's why we have inserted one here and uh, this is only 28 by 28 okay so that's uh, let's see what this model output so let's call it uh, CNN model okay and let's look at uh, an example of MNIST images so for example I will pick any random uh, image for example this image and uh, make it in uh, dimensionality adding another axis because we need to have uh, four dimensions as we need the batch size so I will be adding this uh, uh, one axis dimension and this is the number of its channels and this is 28 by 28 so if you check the shape now you can see it's one by one by 28 by 28 so we have just added another axis, a new axis, which is pretty much <coughs> sufficient to insert to our model. So let's start to insert our image to the model. If you can uh, see here, like I can call it feature map for now. And let's see what is the output. Okay, so it's expected uh, to be this tensor not to be a type byte but found float so basically we need to drive this into a float i will be just mapping or uh, uh, trying to convert the type of the tensor to float so it will be just adding this uh, float function to this image so now it should be be acceptable to this output so I need to make you understand like if you can pause the video and check what is the output dimension of this feature map like the input is 12828 so what is the feature map if I check this shape can you uh, can you see how is the output will be like um, if you remember from the previous lecture I have uh, added this uh, 
uh, images of uh, the convolution equation and this was the equation actually it is uh, number of uh, number of dimension within this image which is 28 and the kernel size which is here for example 3 and the padding which is 0 for our case and the stride is 1 so for example here I have uh, number of uh, dimension is 28 minus key is the kernel size which is 3 and I will be just adding to this uh, 2b which is 0 so I don't care about this I will be sub, uh, dividing it by the stride and adding 1 so if you can see here it is 26 okay so the output should be 1 well here will be the number of the channels which is 20, 128 and the dimensionality will not be 28 by 28 but it will be 26 by 26 let's check the shape okay as you see here this is 128 channel and we have 26 by 26 uh, dimensionality of the image so this matrix is a three-dimensional matrix by the depth of it is 128 feature map concatenated behind each other and the dimension of a single feature map is 26 by 26 so let's visualize this feature map okay so for example here i have also the um the plot the express package image show and uh feature map i can uh check the first axis and all all of these i don't i cannot also uh check all the channels like i can have here n channels to show i only check for example 10 channels i need to visualize 10 channels because 128 is pretty much high and uh, in that case i have this um all 26 on all 26 vectors and the facet column will be zero and um, maybe the binary string will be true to make it blue and dark okay so we need to make it at uh, numpy this is a method we need to use in order to make the plot db acceptable it needs numpy so as you can see here this is the first convolution output like we have applied only a single convolution and changed the data from this uh image i can also uh, visualize this single image using this uh, uh image dimension if you remember the image uh, the original image is basically uh, 100 by uh, 1128 so i not only to have this one for example here okay mm -hmm. so so for example i need here to only check uh, the three dimensions these three dimensions so in that case i need to uh, have the first index and the other will be already the same okay so here as you can see i'm having this uh, image and this is the convolutional output so as you can see it only focus and it's uh, it exposes the main features of this integer five okay and uh, what if we all also applied a max pooling so let's see what is the output so only to consider the dimensionality is an important thing within the pytorch here so basically this is, will be 26 by 26 and this will be 128 so if i applied a max pooling two dimension also uh, for example it will be a little bit different because it have don't care about the number of its channels it doesn't uh, care about how many channels we have but it only cares about uh, the kernel and the stride so for example if i have a stride of a kernel of three it uh, by default will set the stride to be three also so for example here if i have this uh, equation again and uh, i need to check uh, the feature maps again and what is the shape if you can calculate the shape before i uh, check it for example here i will have 
26 and the kernel will be 3 and the stride also will be 3 so this is 8.666 I will be uh, flooring it so I don't care about the um, the other uh, points I just take the integer here it is int 8 so it will be uh, it should be the output should be like this uh, 128 will not be changed because we are just applying across all these uh, concatenated feature maps the max pooling uh, process so it will be 8 by 8 okay so let's check what is the output now of this feature map so it will be the same output as we have already uh, predicted and let's also uh, copy paste this cell and print out the first 10 channels only from all these 128 matrix and as you can see here it keeps only the most the highest value across these uh, across the each each kernel of uh, three side by three so i think like if you can see this image is pretty much blurred or something you can also uh, decrease the number of uh, the number of steps so I can decrease the stride in that case to make it one and you also check the equation here will be instead of dividing by three it will be dividing by one so it will be 24 so this will be 24 by 24 as we should see here also and let's print out the stride now okay so as you can see here it moves a single step instead of three steps so as you can see it captures more information so as you're moving a small number of steps you are capturing more information and less risk of overfitting because we are moving in a in a slow fashion and the disadvantage of this is that it will be a little bit uh, slower maybe if you have large data set or large image in that case okay so as you can see here this is a feature map of this uh, image we can also apply another convolution uh, through it so for example here i can apply this uh, another conv 2d and the input channels will be 128 doesn't change and for example the output channels i can make it only uh, 32 and uh, the kernel size will be 5 for example and here I have the stride let's keep it by default it should be 1 okay so let's uh, predict what is the output now it will be 128 will be 32 only feature size so I'm here com com combining or making a bottleneck to the model to compress all such in information of the 128 channel into just 32 channel and uh, the kernel can be calculated from this uh, part which is uh, i can subtract 24 minus 5 and divide by 1 so it should be here uh, 20 by 20. so let's see what is the output okay it is as we have already predicted and let's check the uh, again let's copy paste these and check these okay as you can see here the some of the information of some feature maps have been uh, removed so for example if i plotted all the 32 channel our model and uh, facet trap to make it 10 for example we should take a look at all the feature maps being inserted to the model uh, if we, uh, we need to then apply a linear layer but we will just need here to visualize uh, the feature maps of our model so as you can see some feature maps are pretty much blurred and uh, data is lost in it and some other feature maps have uh, showing that that the five number uh, the five digit is being uh, exposed to it okay so that's it for the current lecture we have already uh, know a way to visualize any data you can also uh, change this data set to make it any other data set from this uh, package and try for your own how you can visualize it uh, in such a simple way with using a plotly thank you and see you in the next lecture thank you